Will the president's plan to crack down on the Second Amendment actually make this a safer country? A new Fox News poll asked people if they believe that if tougher gun laws will help stop acts like the Newtown shooting. 22% said yes, tougher laws can help. 71% meanwhile said no, people will still find ways to get and use firearms. So does the president's plan miss the mark? Joining us now is Washington Times columnist and one of the very few people registered legally to own a gun in the District of Columbia, Emily Miller, joining us from Washington. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Tucker. Is there any evidence that gun control in the United States, a country with a Second Amendment, you can't ban all guns, but that gun control as practiced here has reduced any crime at all ever anywhere? No, I mean, it's been absolutely, we know for a fact, because from 1994 to 2004, they had what was so-called assault weapons ban. Crime did not decrease at all. And when it came time to expire in 2004, the FBI and law enforcement agencies came to Congress and they were like, we don't need this. This is not helping. This doesn't change anything. Of course, that was just banning certain cosmetic features, which is what the president wants to do again. But, you know, the, there's just absolutely no evidence at all that gun laws decrease crime. And the reason is simple. The bad guys are already disregarding the laws. They right. know there's laws against robbery. They know there's laws against murder. So a law against ownership of a gun is really not going to stop them from doing anything. And just to keep some of this in perspective on so-called assault rifles, there are about 310 million people in this country. In 2011, there were about 330 deaths from rifles, and that includes suicide and hunting accidents. So there are not a lot of crimes being, you know, murders being committed uh, with rifles in general. Tell me what an assault rifle is. Well, it depends. Uh, now, technically, an assault rifle, originally, the term refers to the military rifles, which are automatic, which means you pull a trigger and a lot of bullets come out. Now, the guns that we're talking about at all here are semi-automatic because automatic weapons have been, you know, banned or highly regulated since 1934. They're not used in crimes. It's a completely different issue. But in this early 70s or early 80s, when these gun control groups started getting really active, they adopted this term and really just for fear mongering. So assault weapon, they now use it to define, and now the president is using it to define any gun that has a few co four cosmetic features, generally a pistol grip. Um, which is just so you can hold a rifle easier. It's, you know, it looks like a handgun's grip under the gun. Um, what's called a folding stock, which is just so you can adjust the rifle to your shoulder. Um, if you're smaller like me, you would make it shorter. Um, things like that, a bayonet yes. lug. You know, so these aren't things that have any effect on the functionality of the gun. Um, it's just cosmetic and basically things that look scary. So it's not factually going to affect anything. And anybody who wants to kill someone can use any gun because all the guns out there, except for shotguns and revolvers, are semi-automatic. You pull the trigger once, you get one bullet. That's how they work. And, fun and, and these cosmetic things have absolutely no effect except to you right. know, be scary looking. So today is Gun Appreciation Day. Some of our viewers may not know that, January 19th. Tell me, as, as a woman living in a city who has a firearms permit, tell me how, in what ways do you appreciate guns and how have they changed your life? Well, Tucker, to be specific, D.C. is now the only place in the nation where you do not have the right to bear arms, meaning I can't take my gun outside my home. Illinois was the last state, and a court just um, overturned that ban recently, and the state legislature has a few months to put that into law. Right. So I can have a gun. I have a handgun. I have a Sig Sauer, um, but it's at home for home protection. However, I can take it out, and I will be celebrating Gun Appreciation Day today by taking it to Sharpshooter's Gun Range in Virginia. Virginia Amen. doing some target shooting. <laughs> Good for you. Emily Miller, a licensed gun owner. Thanks a lot, Emily. Thanks for having me.